This look turned out fire. Oh my god. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. In today's video, it is going to be a get ready with me. We're gonna be styling this hair and then I'm gonna be doing my makeup, like a date night. I don't know, I feel like date night inspired makeup and hair and all of that. Whenever I'm going on a date, I always like to just look very put together. I like the nice sexy hair, like waves. Today's video is gonna be done in partnership with Eunice Hair and I already installed it. You guys have already seen me install my hair a few times on my channel. So I'll go ahead and link my most recent install video so you guys can watch that. I'm gonna do some loose waves using this wand curler that I got from my best friend that I never returned. I apologize about the echo. If you guys hear an echo in here, I'm in the bathroom. So this wig is the straight hair by Eunice. It is 24 inches, so it is pretty long. It's the 13 by four parting space. For anyone who's interested, I'll have all the details about the wig down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the curling wand that I'm gonna use. It's by Remington. I'm not too sure where my bestie got this from because she didn't tell me. So I'm gonna be using this. I'm no pro, okay? So don't judge me. I'm going to start like this. I'm gonna wrap it around and then I'm gonna point it down and let it sit for like 20 seconds. And then let it go. And then I just hold it for a second till it cools so that the curl will hold, hopefully. So as you can see, it's like that. But I'm not gonna use any hairspray because I just don't really like hairspray like that. So I'm not gonna use any. Let it sit for like 20 seconds. Then let it go, hold it. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys watch me as I finish up with my hair and then I'll tap back in with you guys in a second. the hair portion of the video. I might have to curl the front again once I'm done with the makeup, but that's okay. So this is pretty much it. I just pressed out the top and kind of like did that lift effect that I love because it just helps the hair to like frame the face. I might cut some layers in this hair once I'm done with my makeup, but I want to go ahead and get my makeup done. So let's go ahead and head into my filming space so that we can get started on the makeup. So for today's makeup look, I wanted to do a look that I saw from Kevin Luong. I've been following Kevin for a very long time on Instagram. His looks are absolutely amazing. And I'm having a hard time deciding which one I wanna do, but I'm leaning more into doing this look. You know what, I'm just gonna insert it on the screen. I just think that this look is so pretty. It is so pretty. I really like the nude waterline. It looks so just 
I don't know, but it looks good. So I'm going to recreate that look. Kevin does tend to create very full glam looks, but also more on the soft glam end of the spectrum. For those of you who do not know, Kevin is a celebrity makeup artist. There are two of his looks that I just have been in love with. I'll insert both looks on the screen for you guys so you can see. I'm just going to do a combination of both looks since I cannot decide <laughs> on which one it is that I really want to do because both of them are just beautiful. So first what I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm using the Fenty Beauty. This is the True Matte Mattifying Pro Filter Primer. And I'm going to use this to prime because I did do my skincare and my face is glowing. Kevin's looks are typically more on the matte side, so I want to be sure that I keep this look as matte as I possibly can. So for concealer, I am going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep to conceal. This one I'm just using to pretty much correct any of the darkness and around my mouth. I am going to use this e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer matte finish in the shade tan sand to highlight. Okay, so I'm gonna blend that out. I just wanna say that I did not look into the products that he uses because I really just wanted to focus on using the products that I already had and just recreate the look. You do not always have to use the products that the original creator used. You can use whatever you have in your kit and make it work for you. That's what I'm doing. Now, Kevin's looks are typically more bronze. He tends to focus more on bronzing than he does contouring, but he does bronze a lot on the forehead region. So I am going to contour a bit, but I'm gonna make sure that I do focus a lot of the contour on the forehead as that tends to be the area that he wants to keep the focus on when it comes to bronzing. And for this, I am using the Huda Beauty Tantour contour and bronzer cream in the shade medium and I definitely went overboard with this so I'm gonna make sure that I correct that with concealer or my foundation because I didn't mean to really bring it <laughs> in like that the nose contour appears to be very prominent so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make sure that I really snatch up my nose I like this product too because it is very creamy so I don't have to worry about it drying down. It's super blendable. There are some products that if you don't blend fast enough they will dry down and then you're pretty much stuck with that look. I'm going to take that e.l.f. concealer and I'm going to bring that down the bridge of my nose. I just went ahead and added a little bit of concealer on the sides of my nose and then on my forehead again because I really want to make sure that I'm cinching the nose. I'm no pro when it comes to contouring my nose and all that. Just want you guys to know that. I'm not trying to fool anybody, but I'm gonna blend that out and just slightly bring up the highlight into the area where the nose contour is sitting. So I'm going to bring that up and really use that to snatch the nose. I'm going to take that same nose contour brush and I'm just going to slightly blend out the contour and blend it into the head of my brow. Putting the contour underneath the nose it slightly just lifts it a little bit we are going to be using the huda beauty foundation i am using the shade mocha 500g it's the faux filter high coverage cream foundation this foundation i only used it like once i can't remember why i stopped using it or why i never used it again i just figured it would be perfect for this look so i'm going to use it today and apply it to the back of my hand and then yeah, this one is 
thick. Very thick, actually. That is thick. Didn't expect that. But it's okay because I need the coverage, so I'm gonna blend that out. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Canufa. And it's really yellow, so what I'm going to do is go on top of that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Alright, so I'm going to go in with Canufa. I'm just going to place that under my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with Laura Mercier because like I said, the Huda powder is very yellow. So I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit with Translucent by Laura Mercier. And I'm going to take and just use whatever is left over on the sponge and bring that uh, around my face use it to just set the rest of my face. I am going to prime my lids using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. And a little goes a long way, so you don't even have to go crazy with this. I'm just gonna blend that out with the brush. With a lot of Kevin's looks, he does like to play in browns. I'm going to use, ugh, I've been using so much Huda, but I just went in my makeup drawers and I'm like, I haven't used these products in a long time, so I'm about to use them. I'm gonna get my money's worth, okay? Because Huda ain't cheap. So I'm going to be going back and forth between the KKW Classic 2 palette. You guys already know I love using this palette so much. But I'm going to be using this one. And then I'm also going to use the Topaz Obsessions Huda Beauty palette. But I'm going to start with the transition shade. I'm going to go into the shade Haze in the Classic 2 palette. To warm that up a bit, I'm going to go into the shade Abundance and I'm just going to take and blend that with that taupe shade. It looks like he used like the dark brown liner eyeshadow method. So I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into this dark brown. I don't know which shade that is. It's the only dark brown that's in the Topaz Obsessions palette. And I'm just going to take that along my lash line and I'm going to smoke it out as I go. You guys know I use this method all the time for liner and bring that up into the crease. I'm gonna use a blending brush and I'm gonna go back into that dark brown shade and I'm going to take that into the outer part of my eye and sort of blow that out. She does have a champagne gold shade on her lid, so I'm going to do the same. <laughs> no shocker there. So to apply the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Morphe M167, and I'm going to go into this champagne color in the palette. It just looks like he just dusted it over the lid, not really being too precise with it.
So there does not seem to be any inner corner highlight, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude for my waterline. I'm gonna go on top of that and go back into the Huda Beauty palette and use this middle shade here. It's like a pinky, peachy nude. And I'm gonna place that on top of that nude liner. Because I feel like this is closer to the shade that he used in her waterline. I don't know if Kevin just always seems to get blessed with beating the faces of models who have amazing brows, but your girl was not blessed in that department. So I'm gonna have to finesse. What I'm gonna do is I am going to start with just brushing up the brow hairs that I do have. And I'm using the Revolution Pro brow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And it looks like he really does focus on filling in the brows in an upward motion. The brows always appear to be very full. So now I'm gonna go into the Benefit brow pomade in the shade 5 and I'm just going to use this to slightly define the brows a little bit and this is just gonna help them to look a bit fuller I told you guys I gotta finesse I'm not working with much. <laughs> I'm going to use this Morphe M408 brush and I'm going to dust this dark brown shade on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into the KKW Beauty palette and I'm gonna go back into this shade and I'm going to use that to smoke out my lower lash line. So it does look like the models have a little bit of brow highlight. So I'm going to go back into that e.l.f. concealer. I'm just going to apply that directly underneath. Then I'm going to take and blend that out. The blending brush. Now, I don't know if he used concealer or just eyeshadow, but I'm going to use concealer. For these two looks that I'm looking at, he used pink blushes and they appear to be matte. So I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette in the shade Lena. And he focuses the blush on the higher points of the face. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is the airbrush bronzer in the shade four. Like I said before, Kevin definitely makes sure to keep the forehead nice and bronzy. Now, it doesn't look like he uses highlight on the high points of the cheeks, but it definitely appears to be highlighter on their noses. So, you guessed it, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use the shade in the Huda Beauty palette that I used for the eyeshadow, which is this champagne shade. And you could tell that they definitely have it on the tip of their nose and on the bridge of their nose. I'm put a little bit on my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and fix my hair, and then I will be right back with the lips. So, 
All right, you guys, so I went ahead and got dressed and applied my lashes. The lashes that I'm wearing are the Style Monroe from my lash line, imeekluxlashes.com. You can follow my lash Instagram page. It's imeekluxlashes. And like I said, these are in the Style Monroe. At the time that I'm filming this video, I do have some still in stock. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check those out. For my hair, I went ahead and cut some layers in it. Just a few long layers. I don't know if you guys can even really tell, but I just cut like a few long layers in it just to give a little more mm, you know mm. i have been seeing this trend going around where people are using their contour their cream contour for their lip liner so i'm gonna try that i'm going to use the huda beauty tan tour that i use to contour my face and i'm just gonna use that for my lips as a liner i feel like i would want this to be a little bit darker but I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that shade. I kind of want a little bit darker because I feel like her liner in the picture is a little bit darker. So I am going to go just a little bit darker. We're going to go with Old Faithful because this one I just feel like is the perfect dark brown shade. It is my ColourPop BFF4 liner. And I'm just going to slightly overline my lips. I like how that looks. For lipstick, I am going to use the Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in the shade Kissy Face. And this one is just like a pink, peachy pink color. I'm gonna put that in the center. Oh, I love that. That looks so good. That looks so good. And then for gloss, you guys already know the clear gloss that I love is the Max Lip Gloss that I get from the Beauty Supply. And I'm just gonna put that Kevin's models always have super glossed lips, but it doesn't look overdone. It's just like perfect. Then I'm going to go in with the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Flower Crown. And I'm just going to put that in the center. My lips. Like their lips are always like perfect. I feel like he probably uses a lip brush and puts the gloss on using a lip brush. This look turned out fire. Oh my god. It looks so good. I'm so happy with the way that this look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in today's video. I did get the inspiration from this look from Kevin Luong on Instagram. So make sure that you guys do check his Instagram page out. He does amazing work. Like, amazing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this transformation because it was a transformation. <laughs> Thank you so much to Eunice for partnering with me in today's video. Like I told you guys before, all of the information about the hair will be listed in the description box down below. Oh, and before we go, I do want to drop a quick gem for you guys on the fragrance that I'm wearing because I have been obsessed with it. So for Valentine's Day, I got my boyfriend the Le Sables Roses by Louis Vuitton. I got the sample bottle that was given to me from his actual bottle that I purchased. So it's a cologne, but it smells so good the hints of roses gives it a little bit of a unisex scent so what I like to do is I just use the little sample because obviously he's not gonna let me get his bottle I'm actually thinking about just buying myself the bottle and then just going and getting it refilled whenever I want to because that scent is my absolute favorite cologne for men right now it is their newest cologne for men so if you guys are looking for something or a gift to get your significant other or your man or whatever it's a bit pricey but it's worth it anyway so i am just gonna use this little sample bottle spray it on me 
And then I like to top it off with Clean Reserve. I have not heard a lot of people talk about them and I've been using them for quite a while. Or I think I told you guys about it in another Get Ready With Me, but I love their scent. But it's super clean and just feminine and I like that, especially for spring. So it's Clean Reserve and the scent that I like is Radiant Nectar. And I just go on top of the Louis Vuitton with this one. It smells amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, but again, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me some comments in the comment section below, and turn on the post notifications so you guys do not miss any of my future uploads. Also, follow me on Instagram at I am Shelly. You're gonna love it there, and you're gonna love it here, okay? Tell a friend, tell a foe, whoever, okay? Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for all of your support, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Girl.